Well, I know that my first blog about she was born and my mate from the 40 Hour Famine and those other kind of movies were probably a bit too full on to properly introduce myself. So, hi, my name is Amber. Um, I live in Western Australia, which is Australia, probably known as Down Under. Um, I like it down here. It's nice and it's quiet and there's animals. I'm an animal lover, huge animal lover. I have one dog, as you know, called Flubber, five cats, a chicken coop full of chickens, which I am absolutely afraid of. You can't tell anybody that because if anybody else found out, I would die from embarrassment. Um, I obviously have friends who are weird like me because otherwise they wouldn't be my friends, which is on that other video of mine on my YouTube. Um, I'm interesting. I promise. I, I go to a local high school, which is a co-ed, if that makes sense. So it's got boys and girls, which is what I would presume most Australian high schools are like. Um, I'm in my last year. And the reason mainly for this vlog of mine was because my mum bought me a car. I mean, oh my gosh. Um, I'm not definitely not from one of the richest families. Um, my dad left my mum when I was five. He is gay. That means homosexual. Um, so my mum brought us, me, my brother and my sister, that's three of us, <laughs> quick mathematics for you, let's share, she brought us three up, and she, um, she's done a very good job, and so we haven't ever been the richest of families, but obviously we're not that poor, because I can video record myself and post it on a computer and access my computer daily, so I wouldn't put us in the poor category either, but, um, but yeah, so I got a car. Um, I'm, I'm always, I always considered myself one of these people. Like they were my friends, and they had cars because they had jobs for years and years. And I've been moving around a lot, so I never had the stability to have a job. So I finally have a job. And um, now that my mother has a job that's stable as well, she's been in out of hospital for quite a while because she's terminally sick, not dying terminally sick, but just sick. So um, so yeah. But I finally got a car. I can't believe it. My friends are the ones who had cars. I was always going to be the one who was bumming a lift everywhere. You know, oh, I'll chip in for fuel if you want. And my friends would look at me and go, no, nah, no, nah, it's okay. We know what, you know, we know your circumstances, attitude. And, and now I can be the one saying, well, you can pitch in for fuel because I'll be driving. And I, I'm so excited. I mean, it's not my dream car. My dream car, I'm a hippie, is a shag and wagon with orange shag pile carpet in the back and a double mattress and clean sheets, fresh clean sheets that would be changed daily if used, um, with peace signs all over the front. I mean, that's me. Um, I'll show you my room later and you can understand fully what I mean, but I have a little Nissan, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's a Nissan Pulsar. Could be a Nissan Lancer. I'm part of the hatchback squad, which I never thought would be possible, but I am. So. It's really cool, and I, I'm very controlling myself here. Um, yeah. I'm going to go and do my little victory dance around the house while no one is here, but I will be back. Just you wait and see. So for now, that's a good night and goodbye.